We're going to get scary today. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Full Nelson Eats A Lot. Today, I got a very special treat for y'all. Got some crazy delicious snacks. It's scary how good these snacks are. And I'm not kidding about that when I say it. This is a great video for y'all today. Welcome to the Full Nelson Halloween Special Mega Food Review. I told y'all it's a mega food review today, so you know I'm showing up with that heat. Nothing but bangers today. We got some scary cakes with scream filling. We got some zombie takis. Shout out to my friend Angie for telling me about these. We got some Cheetos bag of bones, white cheddar bone pieces. Mm. And then we got some chocolate cake Twinkies with scream filling. They yell at you when you bite into them. So we got a lot of different snacks today. Let's get into it. Ah! 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 Oh! <sighs> oh! Oh! That bag is ridiculously hard to open. Caution. Boom, let's get into them. Got that big old bag open. These little tiny bags are so cute. They probably only have like four chips in them though. Ooh wee! Get into that. Mmm. And y'all gotta see this right now. Let's get into these Takis. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is super green. That's not even just a little bit green. That's super green. Oh, they're mini, mini Takis. They still got the zombie flavor though, and that's what I'm reviewing here. So let's go. Ah. Okay, you know when that thing when you haven't eaten in a while and then you eat something so flavorful, it starts shocking the back of your jaw, it starts locking and shocking and pop lock and dropping. That's what just happened to me with the mini zombie takis. That is really really good zombie nitro flavor hmm ah that's what that was i knew i tasted something really bright so these are habanero and cucumber takis these are pretty good the heat's not overwhelming but i only tried one you really have to eat a couple of these especially because they're mini look at that looks like a little mini me oh those are like little flavor bombs. Dropping bombs in my mouth. Exploding with flavor. Those are good. Spicy though. That's scary to say. They're spicier than the regular Takis. They're deceptive because they cool you down with the cucumber a little bit. And then it dulls the heat just enough so you say, hey, let me pop a couple more. And boom. Start spicing you all over again. That's a good chip. Up next, we got the Cheeto Bag of Bones. Let's get into it. I don't have much time, and I know you don't either, so let's do it. Man, I'm just saying I don't have a lot of time because my memory card's almost full. Somebody send me a 64 gigabyte card. Holla. Uh. Ooh. Ooh That's stinky. Mmm. That smells like somebody's toes right there. That's some strong white cheddar. Woo! Ah, y'all gotta see this one. Take a look inside of that bag right there. Ooh wee, that's glowing, baby. Mama told me not to sell work. Bag of Cheetos, same color T-shirt, white. Man, right off the bat, these things make a good impression. But you really can't judge a book by its cover, so let's go in. Let's really see if this is really what it's all about. 
Let's go. Mm. Mm, I like these. I really, really like these. I like them a lot. I've already eaten like three of them. See, the good thing about these food reviews on YouTube is you guys don't really need to know how many of these I eat. I've already eaten like five. I just cut out all the extra ones that I'm eating. So I really, really like these a lot. Everyone's always trying to do the most with all these flavors, right? They're going over the top with them. These white cheddars are good because they're just chilled out. You know what I mean? They're not too much. It's just really chill. They're not smacking you too much with flavor. You can munch on these for a while. It's really, really light. But you still get that cheesy. And you still get that classic Cheeto crunch. I mean, these bag of bones, they're not quite crunchy Cheetos. And they're not quite puffs either. They're almost a hybrid, like in between. They got a little bit of that crunch, but they're puffy too and it's not too much. I really like these. Cheetos needs to make something like this in between all year round. I really like those. Okay, time to get into the next one. Scary Cakes, Scream Philly. Let's get into it. We are gonna bust this thing open right here like this. Ah! Them cakes is scary. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's rip it. Okay, so our first glance looks like a regular hostess cake. Got some cream, I mean some icing on top, but it's orange colored. I wonder if the flavor is any different. You got the classic chocolate swirl right there. Almost dropped it, bruh. Enough playing with it. Let's bite it. Ah! The scream filling! Okay, honestly, the icing is not any different than the one that they have all year. I feel like they just colored it. Didn't even change the flavor. Lame. That scream filling's not that good either. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's good, but it's not different. It's not at all changed from the one that they have all year round. Lame. Not a fan of that. Let's hop into the Twinkies chocolate cake edition with the scream filling look at that twinkie the kid right there ready to halloween trick or treat he looks like he's about to play a trick on our ass though because these are not even different than the ones all year uh. chocolate cake twinkies i'm not even excited for these why because these scary cakes we're not any different. I'm gonna review these unbiased. Forget about the scary cakes. You gotta give every Twinkie a fair chance. How do you know you don't like it unless you try it? Not a fan. Not a fan at all. It's just chocolate. But honestly, it's almost like they just took the chocolate cake from this scary cake and wrapped it in the shape of a Twinkie. Just morphed it. It's not the same spongy texture of the yellow Twinkies. Doesn't have that same stickiness or flavor. It's a shame that they call that a Twinkie when it's just a long hot dog shaped cupcake, in my opinion. Okay guys, last but not least, I got this True Moo Orange Scream right here for y'all. I'm not even looking forward to this. Why would you want your milk to be orange cream flavored? But I'm gonna go into this thing open-minded. This really is scary right here. True Moo Orange Scream is the next up on the review list. This is a bonus right off the label. True Moo Orange Cream Low Fat Milk. We added orange cream flavor and just enough sugar for that great orange cream taste you love. No, I don't love it. And I never asked for my milk to have orange cream, but this is a Halloween scary special episode and I'm about to do something really scary. Try this true moo orange scream milk. We're about to pop it. Pop, lock and drop it. Oh. Ugh. Oh my gosh, look at the milk. It's orange. <sighs> All right, guys, here goes nothing. Down the chute. I do it for y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet.
Yo. I'm torn. It doesn't taste bad. Eh. Honestly, it feels like they just took those orange creamsicle ice creams and then they just put it in a gallon, let it melt, shook it all up, and then called it a day. That's exactly what this tastes like. No, I don't want that flavor on my Cheerios and I don't want that on my Fruity Pebbles or any of my cereals. It's good on its own. If you ever wanted to drink your orange cream ice cream, this is the milk for you. For anybody who wanted to drink that and you were dreaming of somebody to come out with the milk that tasted like orange cream ice cream, this is a 10 out of 10 for you. To everyone else, I don't think it's that good. Definitely doesn't go with any of these snacks that I have here or any dessert. I definitely don't want to dunk my Oreos in this. And it's just not that good by itself. I wouldn't buy this again. Okay, prices on all this stuff. The zombie Takis, less than 50 cents a bag. Not bad. Cheetos bag of bones, we got the price on here. Uh, $3.69. Twinkies, I think these were like $2.50. Scary cakes, eight of them for about $2.50 as well. True Moo orange scream, should have never bought it. Uh, $3, I'm just kidding, it's not, it's bad. Okay, nutrition, what's in this stuff? Man, none of this shit is healthy. Who are we kidding? But it's Halloween. Eat your candies, kids, but just don't eat it all at once. All right, guys, I had to go handheld with this one. I got all the snacks laid out in order of best to worst, and I just want to explain my decision on that a little bit. Let me start off on the winner's table and say that the Taki Zombie Takis were my favorite. Exploding with flavor, cucumber and habanero really mix good, and the fact that they were mini made them pretty cute and eatable. Next I got the bag of bones Cheetos coming in number two. Look at Chester Cheetah on there looking like he just caught a body. A bone body. What's up? White cheddar. It was such a chill flavor. They didn't overdo it. They just came in clutch and did what they do well. Get it cheesy baby. Third I got this milk because even though I didn't really like it very much at least they tried. Let me pull out that card and for y'all right there. A boom, a boom, orange scream, true moo. Right there, look at that. They actually tried, they gave it an orange scream flavor. They got with the holiday and they did what they do. Even though it didn't win any awards, I applaud them for actually trying. Dead last, we got this nasty Twinkie that they didn't even try. I feel like this was just a cash grab. This was not that good. The cream wasn't any different. The cream inside wasn't any different. And this, this isn't even a Twinkie. It just looks like a Twinkie. That cake is just like this cake. It's not got the uh, spongy classic flavor and texture that Twinkies are known for. That's an impasta, bruh. That's it for my Halloween special mega review. I hope everyone has a great and happy Halloween. Have fun trick-or-treating. Stay safe and use the buddy system. If you like this Halloween special episode, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Boom! <laughs>